For today's video, we will be talking about alkoxymercuration, demercuration, very similar to oxymercuration, demercuration. So as a reactant, we will start with an alkene, a double bond, right? And we have our reactants will be mercury, of course. We would have acetate in here, two of them, also with water. This is also going to be reacting with our second re uh, reagent, NaBH4. So all we have to do is remove the alkene, the double bond, and just put an OH in here on the most substituted carbon. This follows Markovnikov, so most, most substituted carbon. Now let's do another example here. We have an alkene, a double bond. We use the same reagent. We have mercury, OAC, two of them, acetate, also water in this case. And we would also have a reactant with NaBH4. We would put, we would remo remove the double bond and put an alcohol on the most substituted carbon, which is there. Let's do another example here. We have a double bond here, an alkene. Now, we use mercury, OAC, two of them. Now, in this case, we're going to use CH3OH. This is an al alkoxy group, right? Now, we also use NaBH4. Now, instead of putting OH, we put OCH3 on the most substituted carbon. This also follows Markovnikov rule, which we will be there. So instead of OH, we put OCH3 because of, because of alkoxy group. Let's try another example. We have an alkene here. Same reacting with our same reactants, mercury, OAC, two of them. Now CH3OH, also reacted with NaBH4. And so we have put the OCH3 on the most substituted carbon. This follows Markovnikov, and it will be placed there. On the most substituted carbon. Let's try the mechanism for this. We start with an alkene, a double bond, and we have our first with reactant reagents mercury and OAC, two of them. The double bond attacks mercury, mercury gives off its electrons to the OAC, which kicks it off. Now, the, uh, the mercury with H, uh, OAC goes on the less substituted carbon. Okay, the less substituted carbon, and has one lone pair, and there's a positive charge on that carbon. It attacks that carbon with a positive charge, goes and forms a cyclic ring, double membrane membrane ring. Now this has a positive charge. Now oxygen with CH3, hydrogen comes in. The uh, water attacks the most substituted most substituted carbon, kicks off uh, one of the rings to for mercury, gives it a lone pair. Now we have this structure right here. Lone pair on this. Now we have O, H, CH3. Oxygen has a one lone pair with a positive charge. Now uh, the OAC that we kicked off, it has a negative charge on the oxygen. So this comes in and attacks the hydrogen, grabs the hydrogen, so it can make it uh, uh, neutral for the oxygen in this case. Uh, that's a double another way of writing it. Comes in, attacks it. Now it forms, all we have is OCH3, but now we can see on the structure that we see two carbons. Well, you can either pick one carbon and we form an ether. This is an ether. Uh, not forming, but we have an ether here. Just to point this out, now we use NaBH4. The mechanism is very complicated for this, so all we have to do is just write NaBH4 reacting with this. It just kicks off the mercury OAC. And we are left off with our final product of having oxygen CH3. And this is our final product.